All right, here we go, another day. So once again, Jeep Cherokee, and uh, we're going to take this window out and install the affordable off-road metal storage unit. So the window comes out, storage unit goes in, the window will open or the, the metal will hinge open and be able to put our toe straps, recovery gear, things like that inside there. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look at it. All right, wearing my microphone today. Hopefully that helps. I noticed the last video, you know, anyway. So here it is. This is the affordable off-road storage unit that goes in place of the window. I have shown this on here before, hidden at the end of one of the videos. Uh, like I said, we'll get this installed. Yeah. Other stripping, some bolts, some straps for the recovery gear, shelf. You can choose different locations wherever you'd like it to go. All the multiple holes. Really heavy duty, built really well. Welds, everything look great. They do a fantastic job. This, um, I believe, currently is like $300 on their website right now. I was able to pick it up. I don't remember. It's been a while. Black Friday or around Christmas time last year. So I got a really good deal on it. It was marked way down. Uh, but let's uh, get the back window out, side window, and see... See how easy this goes in. Guy the hardware. There wasn't any directions or anything, but it looks like stainless steel Allen bolts for each one, so we're probably gonna have to drill some holes where the window seal goes. It does have some foam in here it looks like to go all the way around the window possibly. I probably would silicone this in, but I'm just gonna install it this time with no seal, no nothing, because as you'll see, I have some body work that I'll have to do. So this will have to come back out, but my shop's a mess. I got parts laying all over the place for all these different projects right now. And this is just one big one that I need to get off the floor and get installed in the Jeep. And we'll go back and do some body work on it and uh, probably then finish silicone in this end. Probably wouldn't mind painting it a gloss black and it possibly would uh, look like a window or you wouldn't really even notice that it was a storage compartment. but. Enough yapping. Let's go get it put in. All right. Let's get this back window out. Make some room. Uh, yeah. Right, the window should come out super easy if I remember correctly. I don't know if you can see right here, right here, the typical where the weep holes are on this. 
is where it tends to rust. And that's what I got going on. All right, let's see what happens here. Just folding the seal out of the way a little bit. Push it out. Probably not to do it from the other side. Get my finger in there. Yeah. I did this once before. I got an extra set of windows for this. They're up there in the loft. Um, that's the simplest way it would be just to cut this rubber seal. We're not going to use it again. I have an extra one if something goes sideways. So I'm being lazy. You can uh, undo this seal and save it if you would like. sake of this being a three hour long video or something. I don't think anybody wants that. I will speed it up by cutting this seal here. going around try not to break the window here we go this one is pretty pitted from welding my cage without properly covering the glass all right not terrible. Mainly the rust was on the outside there. Huh. Okay. Let's just scrape a little bit of that thicker stuff off here. Thing is with rust, you gotta get them bubbles. I know a lot of people don't want to scrape the red away or whatever color paint but you have to essentially pop those bubbles to let the moisture not set behind there behind the paint these spots have been like that for 10 years i just lightly scuffed them and shot them with some primer and that was 10 years ago and they're solid they're just Hit it. but you got to pop the bubbles so the, the moisture doesn't sit back there behind the paint anymore I mean don't get me wrong this Jeep is very rusty it has its issues but I've done so much work to it, it'd be hard to start over. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can, the way it is, till it gets so bad that it's time to quit wheeling. I've came close to that a couple of times where I thought, you know, time to sell it. I say that quite often. <clears throat> Just have to get a little motivation and uh, keep at it. So what happens when you have too many projects going at once? OK. 
Hitting the seat belt. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get rid of a little tab up there. So right here, I hope you can see. Can you guys see? Tell me. So this. The depth of this actually pushes on this. There's a little tab up top that goes in a hole that keeps this from rotating. I mean, I guess we probably could just give it a little bend out of the way, maybe. I hope it allows you to keep your, your uh, rear seat belt here. Like it. We're gonna get rid of that little tab so we can move that seat belt, pivot it out of the way. Um, let's see. How about a death wheel? using it the other day. Pretty typical, right? Where is it? When you need it, where is it? All right, we're just gonna cut this little tab right here up top. Uh-oh. Oh, I get in trouble for that one. Safety glasses. These are actually work safety glasses. So I was wearing safety glasses. Just not your typical kind. Guess I could have my side shields on. Okay, let's see what that does. There's plenty of room there. What's going on with the seat belt? Like it don't want to work. Uh, I bet this thing weighs probably 20 pounds. Damn, that's still hitting. tractor to come up with a little bit on a seatbelt. This isn't a problem you will have. This is a problem that I'm having because of my seatbelt. So, yeah, must be all tangled up in there. What's going on? Not cool. Yeah. My seatbelt's all jammed up. There we go. Dang. Pain in the butt. Okay. There we go. Oh. First impressions. Okay. Okay. Stay. Um. 
What do I want to put in here to hold this? I guess we'll get a marker. Mark all these holes first. And go from there. get this held where we want it which honestly it just fits pretty much where it fits there isn't a whole lot of maneuvering room there oh yeah by the way that comes off it's got little brass washers on there or bronze maybe to uh, so it's not metal on metal close to the edge. I mean, it's not going to go nowhere, but a lot of bolts. One under my hand. Okay. I'm going to leave it kind of sit in here. I want to bring you in, show you what it looks like from the inside. Let's go here. So that's what it looks like inside. Which is sitting there, but it does come in a little ways. And the shelves, good thing. My roll cage clears. But as you can see, oh, sorry about the camera. They do make an accessory bracket that will use these existing bolt holes here. And it's a plate that comes in a little ways and you, it has hooks or uh, spots to put clevises and things on. Really neat. So these are expandable. I'm sure you probably could get another shelf for the inside or something if you'd like. But, geez, I'm going to have to delete that. That was awfully shaky. Let's go closer. All right, that looks a little better. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right, lift this out. I'm telling you, this thing probably, and it's probably close, maybe 25 pounds. It's definitely built heavy duty. I don't know, is that eighth inch, maybe? Eighth inch steel? No, oh, the shelf's definitely thicker. All right, camera. Can you see the black dots all the way around? Hope so. <clears throat> Let's look in here for a center punch. It's, I bet you can't see these, but center punch all these holes. My old boss bought me this. 
pretty thankful. It's really nice. All right. There's all the holes. Punched. Dots made. What size are these bolts? Oh, shoot. Where did I put them? All right. I should be carrying you guys around, showing you some stuff. I want you to feel left out. Let's figure out what size these are. Three sixteenths Allen head. They look like they're three eighths bolts. So we want to go clearance for three eighths. Twenty five sixty fours. Boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, second guess in here. Let's get the calipers over here by the motor. Let's measure them. Let's see what they are. Oh yeah. And that was way off. Five sixteenths bolts. So actually five sixteenths will will clear this because that is oh, oh 15 uh, yeah and uh, 5 16 is 312 what it's in the wrong spot what is that that is 1964 it's in the wrong spot. What the heck? What's in its spot? Quarter? What the heck? Okay. Anyhow, I guess with that said, we are going to go right there. 2164. Jeez. All my stuff is mixed up. Great. Another thing to do. All right, let's go back over the Jeep. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to do the one that you guys can't see first. <laughs> Do the four corners, then we'll check our fitment. We'll block your view again. The joys of wearing the microphone, you guys get to hear it just like me. Right here in the noise, listening, hearing it all. All right, going up. Stay put. Wonder how this shot looks. I'm out of breath. Already. Two days in the shops too much. Okay. 
you should check fitment before we go crazy here. It's a lot of holes to drill. We're definitely going to have to get into some time lapse stuff here. Uh -oh. I think I might have already sat some bolts somewhere else. Maybe that one we were miking over there. Probably have to slide that seat down out of the way again. I go up above it. What's the chances? Think we got it? Oh. How does it look? Can you see it? Can you see it? I can't. Can't see it. Not looking. It's kind of weird. It's like I'm walking around talking to myself while I'm out here. Maybe I do that all the time and someone's just here to hear me this time. Ooh, these are behind the plastics. I'm gonna put the nuts on the back there, but I can't. The holes are in the metal. Maybe, just maybe, we could drill through them. You see, this one's like so close. Stand back and take a look. Yeah, I don't think that'll be too bad. That's a lot of drilling. Where's if my drill bit will fit through them holes? Where did I put it? Anybody else do this, or is it just me? Uh, I just had the drill. Mm -hmm. There it is. Boy. Put in there. It will. Perfect. So they oversized these holes a little more than what we were going to oversize them. All right, we're going to bolt those four down then. So I'm going to go inside. Put some nuts on there. Let's see which ones I can get to. Get to this one.
that was getting a little hard. Okay, Let's see if we can tighten this one down a little. Time lapse. Let's do a time lapse. good. hardware they give you with this. Definitely not sponsored by these guys, but if they want to send me some accessories, I'll definitely do a video. Stickers would be cool. Oh, I have a sticker for them. Think that's all of them. Sure looks like it. So honestly, in real time, this is probably an hour hour and a half to install this. It's really quick. It's not not bad at all. Oh, missed one. Oh, I see why I missed it. It's not easy to get to. Back here. too much in here because we got open engines oh well, they're in bags I guess the one that matters is okay let's 
put the door back on. comes with these wing nuts with these little rubber grommets. They work, right? They do what they're supposed to. I think I'm going to upgrade to something a little fancier though. We'll do some sort of knurled, round, black uh, thumb screw. That's what I'm trying to say. Something like that. There you go. Looks pretty good. Get out of your way so you can see. Yeah, I think that looks really good. We get the rust fixed. We silicone that in. Yeah. Really good fitment. Super sturdy. So, let's put the shelf in. Hmm, you know what would be a neat thing? Is if we could put some sort of gas shocks or just maybe one, one shock or some little brace or something. We could. That probably would actually flip up and stay if you didn't have this roll cage bar in there. So, really, once again, someone with a factory style Jeep probably be just fine. Let's, uh, let's see if I can do something here just to hold it out of the way. Probably shouldn't have put the lid on the door. Probably should have left it off. Right? Oh, poke my eye out. That's what I'm going to do. What kind of magic trick can I do? Let's go. No, this is a complete failure. Complete failure. Something like this. Oh, what if it, what if it hits you in the head? Oh, it's like bat wing, gull wing. You won't even be able to see in there if I do that. Need longer bungee cord. Hey, 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 there we go. Okay, what were we doing? I don't even remember now. There it is. Let's put this shelf in. Now I'm not sure how this goes. You know, I should check their website. They might have some sort of directions on there for us to look up at. Uh, like I said, I bought this quite a while ago. Comes with these nuts looking things. Hmm. And oh, they want you to crimp those in there. Well, I got one of those tools. I just ain't ever used Used it. No, they don't fit. I have no idea what these nut certs are for. See? See how these came with this? And it comes with a, 
uh, a bolt and some washers like to smash it in there but they don't fit in the holes doesn't fit in any of the holes comes with four of them no let's see oh these these do fit in there the stainless bolts so you give you tons of these extra bolts though let's throw four of these down here and four of these nuts these nuts all right and we're gonna use those <clears throat> Now, ideally, I have no idea for height. I know I have big snatch strap style. Uh, what do you call them like? Kinetic. I have kinetic uh, strap. So we're gonna put that on the bottom. down here. Maybe a regular toe strap up there. Anyway, Babylon. You put this in here, tighten down these, same hardware. That looks really good. Yep. Pretty nice. All right, let's snug those up. We're just gonna say that's where we want it. That's tight. All right. So, here's a big toe strap. Yeah, that was what I was thinking would go up there. This is a super large toe strap. I want to think like 30 feet long. What is that? three four inch wide look at that fits in there real nice uh, this will help clean up the inside and the back of the jeep a little bit we got our soft shackles hey look at that black electrical tape. I needed that for the last video. My thimble for threading the braided I call that winch line. Hmm. Oh, their soft shackle must be in my other recovery bag. I'll get back to you. All right, I'm back. 
had to run and grab my bag of recovery gear. Not all this should go in here, but it's another soft shackle. We got two of those. Another four inch toe strap. Oh, that don't go in there. This, uh, it'll make way too much noise probably. Shackles, same thing. It'll make all kinds of racket in there. So we're not gonna put that in there. Mainly just this type of stuff. Here's my kinetic strap. It's like a giant bungee cord. It allows you to get some momentum going before you yourself become stopped and get, uh, boy, look at that mess. It allows you to not get stuck yourself while you're trying to get your buddy out. How do I want to put this in here? Or do I? Do I? Hmm. Got this from my father-in-law. He gave it to me. Man, that thing's huge. I didn't realize how big that was. Oh no, oh no. We might need the whole bottom for this thing. Is it worth it? Oh no. What would you guys put in here when you install one of these on your rig? Really, that should be plenty. We have a winch. Got 30 foot of strap. We've got clevises. A couple different sizes. We're still gonna have to keep a small recovery style bag like that. Soft shackles. I like them better than them large shackles, but sometimes you don't have a choice. I don't know if they know how these work. Like this. The harder you pull, the harder it cinches on there and won't come off. Super strong. I've used these a couple times in the winter, pulling people out. Not in this, but I've used them. I think that's plenty. Okay. Yep, get our bungee cord off, close our lid, grab these thumb screws, wing nuts with the rubber. That's not bad. Like I mentioned in my other video a long time ago. I wanted to put my fuel cap in here for my fuel door because I have a fuel cell in the back and I need it up here to rush down into the fuel cell. So maybe possibly this corner inside there will become where I'll be filling the Jeep up. So I don't have to mess with that and that. It's painful. There you go. Pretty simple. All this screwing around I've done, it really has only been probably two hours from start to finish. Granted, it's not siliconed in. We've got these rust spots, but we'll have to go back and fill them in, fix them. But yeah, there it is doesn't really stick into the cab all that far. 
if you're able to tell. Well, let me get a tape measure. Stay right here. All right. So total, see that? Five and a half inches is what it sticks into your cab, which really isn't much farther than the four inches your normal plastics actually stick in anyway. So, it's pretty nice. I don't have the plastics on top or anything, but I don't have them in here at all. Well, there it is. Affordable off-road window install storage unit. I don't know. Call it what you want, I guess. I haven't seen anybody else installing theirs. I've seen some people make them, but yeah, thumbnail. There we go. Looks pretty good, fits really good, super simple to install. The price isn't bad for the amount of fab work they have to do and the, the fitment. These guys make bumpers, all kinds of different stuff for all different types of Jeeps, not just Cherokees. Depends, what do you have, a TJ, a YJ? Look them up, see what they got, see what they can have for you. I don't know if I showed that. There's a spot for a padlock there. If you really want, you can put a padlock here so no one can get in there and steal your, your recovery gear. All right. Thanks for watching the shop.